Hello and welcome. Today we are actually just checking out the new API from OpenAI. They just released the Dolly 2 engine uh, art generator as an API. So let's just check it out. How easy is it to use? And since I haven't tried this before, just I'm just going to head over to Google Colab, do some Python code, I guess, and see how it works. Okay, so before we start, just have a quick look at the news from Dolly 2. So it's in public beta, so that means everyone could test it out. Seems like always very easy to use. Um, they built in a moderation uh, a deploy. They deployed like a moderation. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a code, I guess, on top of it. And they have released some applications. So let me just zoom in a bit so you can see this like this. And they also gonna integrate this integrate um, an image creator in Bing and Microsoft Edge, so that is really interesting. I'm gonna check this out, and I think this Kala, that's the world's first fashion and lifestyle operating system. I gotta check that out too. So there's a lot of news coming here. So, uh, but today let's just focus on the API. Should be really easy to use, I think. Let's just head over to the documentation. Just a quick look. Uh, yeah. I guess you just call on the OpenAI. The pip install OpenAI and just use this command. I think the sizes are 256, 512. And yeah. So let's just test it out. I don't think uh, there was something here default rate limit is 10 images per minute 25 per five minutes so yeah let's just head over to colab i guess let me just adjust this you can see this now right hope so so i guess we gotta start pip install open ai i guess maybe i did this now before i started we'll see okay so that should be okay Okay, uh, then let's just call, let's just import OpenAI, and we gotta import that, should be good, okay. So let's head over to the documentation. So let's copy this and play around with it. Uh, response call image create a white Siamese cat. Let's just do Homer Simpson trading stocks on computer whatever okay we're gonna go with um, this size image URL response okay probably just print image like this let's try this okay so I think this is very exciting news because it's very easy to implement let's say you can implement this with GPT-3 okay so here's our link Click on that. Hey! Wow, that's very easy to use. Let's do a couple more. So let's go. I guess we can just change our prompt here. Mm. So uh, let's do, I don't know, artificial intelligence. Gen Homer Simpson in 2035. I don't know. I'm just making this up. Uh, so we probably should get a new URL here. Wow. That was creepy. Okay, so this is very easy to use. It's going to be really fun to play around with to integrate in different uh, 
fan of uh, Python codes. I I'm not gonna do any app, but I guess it's really good for to producing images to apps. Let's just do one more. Stock photo of three people working on a super computer. I don't know. Digital art. So yeah. Very exciting. Check this out. Wow, that's not bad. Looks creepy, but funny. That's fun, maybe. I was thinking YouTube. Thumbnail for a video about a new AI art API. What is this gonna be? Oh wow, <laughs> creepy. Okay, so I guess that's just it. Uh, I just wanted to test it out now. Uh, gonna do more on this, of course. I'm gonna integrate it with GPT-3 and a whole lot of other stuff. So I'm excited for this. Are you? Let me know in the comments. And yeah, check out some of my other videos up here somewhere. And I'll see you again soon.